So, hello, I am Douglas Pereira Pascualin, I am from Federal University of Pelotas, Brazil, and I'm here to present our paper about the characterization of memory access behavior of applications that use software transactional memory. I will start with a brief background on transactional memory. The idea of transactional memory is to simplify parallel programming by replacing the use of split locks with atomic blocks, executing a critical section of a multi-thread application as a transaction. If a transaction executes without conflicts, it will commit. A conflict happens if two threads access the same shared variable, and at last one transaction writes to this variable. Otherwise, if a conflict is detected, one of the transactions must abort, discarding all operations made inside it, and restart the transaction until a commit is possible. Transactional memory can be implemented in hardware or software, but we focus on the software implementation, since it is more flexible. Many studies are trying to improve the performance of transactional memory, more specifically in software or STM. However, most of these studies focus on the use of transactional schedulers to serialize conflict transactions, in order to reduce the number of aborts. However, in current microarchitectures with complex memory hierarchies, there are also other concerns beyond reducing aborts. An important question is to map threads to cores take into consideration the memory access behavior of them. In that case, threads that access the same shared variable are mapped to cores that are closed in the underlying architecture, mainly for improving the cache usage. There are many studies in this area, but most focus on the general applications, not the STM. And the main challenge is how to detect the memory affinity accurately and with a low overhead. Prior work has shown that this sharing aware thread mapping can improve application performance, even if you consider only the transactional access to the variables, since the STM runtime has precise information about shared variables. For a successful thread mapping, it is necessary to perform a detailed analysis of STM applications, and this is the main objective and contribution of this paper. For this analysis, we choose the step benchmark suite, because it is the most used transactional memory benchmark, composed of 8 realistic applications. We propose an extension to one of the most used STM library, called TinySTM, to detect the shared behavior of the applications. We expect it to be possible to answer key questions regarding the suitability of thread mapping of the same applications, including the expected gains of thread mapping if the applications present dynamic or static behavior during or between executions, and which type of thread mapping policy is better, static or online. As we'll see during this presentation, our main finds are that the STEM benchmarks are suitable for aesthetic thread mapping, since they present mostly static behavior of sharing. The sharing behavior between threads could be represented as a communication matrix. Here is an example of a communication matrix, that is a matrix where each pair of cells indicates the amount of affinity between a pair of threads. In the example, threads 4 and 0 access the same shared variable 9 times. On the right, we visualize the matrix in a graphical way, where dark cells indicate more communication. To determine the sharing behavior and create a communication matrix, we extended the TinySTM library. With this modify library on each transactional read or write to a shared variable, we keep track of which thread has accessed it. When at least two distinct threads have accessed the same shared variable, we call this a communication event and update the communication matrix in the corresponding cell. To calculate the difference between two communication matrices, we use the mean squared error, or MSC. The MSC is one metric used to compare the difference between images. In that case, if the MSC of two matrices is zero, then the matrices are exactly the same. Otherwise, higher MSC values indicate higher difference between the matrices. So here is a summary of the characteristics of the sharing behavior that we analyze in this paper. First, we perform two experiments to determine if the communication matrix of the application changes between different executions, and if the matrix changes when using different thread numbers. The main goal is to determine if the applications are suitable for static thread mapping, and if the communication matrix collected using a prior execution can be used for this purpose. Finally, the objective of the last experiment is to determine if the applications have dynamic sharing behavior during an execution. In that case, 
it will be necessary to perform an online thread mapping, in which threads are remapped several times during the execution. The first experiment aims to determine if the communication pattern changes during executions. We execute each application 10 times and collected one communication matrix for each execution. After that, we calculate the MSC values of the first generated matrix with the nine others matrices and plot them in the box plot on the top of this slide. The majority of the applications do not have a great variance of MSC values. For instance, Base has the lowest MSC variance, as shown in the left bottom graph of two distinct runs. The application with the highest MSC difference was SSCA2. However, if you look at the two matrices collected in different executions on the right button, we see the same communication pattern, known as all to all, where all threads have roughly the same amount of communication. The only difference is the total amount of communication, where the dark matrix had a great amount of communication. However, this can be explained mainly due to the fact that the total number of aborts varies in each execution. More aborts imply more work to be done, consequently more communication between threads. Therefore, based on this experiment, we conclude that the applications have a similar communication behavior on each execution. For the second experiment, we run the application using the same default parameters of the first experiment, but also using 32 and 96 threads. Some applications like Genome present the same communication behavior, even when change the number of threads, which can be visualized in the communication matrix on the left. However, using 96 threads, the highest MSC difference belongs to vacation. But as in previous experiment, when we compare the communication matrix of two different executions, we see the same behavior of SSCA2. In that case, it is only a difference between a total amount of communication but with an all-to-all communication pattern. The last experiment was to determine if the communication behavior changes during the execution of the application. We collected 10 or more matrices during the execution of each application and calculated the MSC between each matrix and the final collected matrix. Analyzing the graph, we can see again that SSCA2 has the highest MSC difference during the execution. However, as explained in other experiments, it is a difference between the amount of communication, but with the same all-to-all -all communication pattern. So, what we conclude so far based on the experiments was that the majority of the STEMP applications has a similar communication behavior. The applications with the highest MSC difference, for instance SSA2 and Vacation, have a communication pattern called all-to-all. And this difference can be explained by the non-deterministic behavior of transactional memory application, for example, the number of aborts. Also, stamp applications do not present a dynamic sharing behavior. Therefore, we conclude that a static thread mapping where threads are bound to cores at the beginning of the application and never migrated could be sufficient for the stamp applications. So now we present a case study to verify if our conclusions were correct. We run the stamp applications using the following configurations. First, we run using a Linux approach, in that case is a normal execution without any intervention, a static approach, where we use the communication matrix of the applications collected in the first experiment, and use the topo match mapping tool to calculate the best thread placement based on the matrix. After that, we run again the application applying the thread mapping. An online approach where we use the same idea of static approach, but while the application was running. Also, to reduce the overhead, we only sample 10% of the transactions to build the communication matrix. Finally, to compare the overhead and accuracy of our mechanism, we collect the communication matrix of the applications using Numalize, a memory trace tool to extract the communication pattern of the entire application, not the only transactional memory access. After that, like in the static approach, we use the topo match to calculate the best thread placement based on the matrix collected by Numalize. Also, Numalize was only able to analyze the k-means application of this stamp. In this figure, we present the results for two of the stamp applications that have a very different behavior, genome and k-means. Genome is not very suitable for thread map, but k-means is. 
In both applications, the static thread mapping has similar results as the online mapping. The only exception was using 32 threads, where the online mechanism had a high overhead than static on genome. K-means has substantial performance gains from mapping of up to 58% for 32 threads when compared to the Linux baseline. With normalized, the gains are lower than our method for 32 and 64 threads, with improvements of up to 21%, and which are much higher overhead to collect the communication matrix. Our mechanism adds less than 3 times of overhead to collect the matrix, whereas normalized added 38 times of overhead. In the paper, there is much more data, including a table with details of memory access for each application and another experiment to characterize the shared behavior changing the input parameters of the application. Also, there are more details and numbers about the overhead of normalized compared to our mechanism, and two more applications in the case study. Furthermore, we show how we can detect false sharing in the applications using our mechanism. So, we conclude that the STEMP applications do not present dynamic sharing behavior during and between executions, with a static thread mapping being sufficient for improving the performance. However, if we sample the memory address to build the communication matrix, it is possible to perform an online thread mapping, achieve a similar performance of static thread mapping. This approach is interesting to avoid a prior execution of the application. And for the future, we intend to make a characterization of the STEMP applications regarding memory pages access for data mapping. Finally, we made all software and data public to allow reproducing our research. They can be found on GitHub. I'd like to thank you for your attention and I will be happy to answer any questions that you may have.